Hey guys, this is Sai Chiran again. I came up with another video uh, which will, uh, uh, which is related to font uh, type in uh, communities. How you can change the font type or uh, how you can use the custom font type in communities. Uh, so without uh, further delay, let's start it. So uh, if if you like any custom fonts and if your customers have any requirement to use the custom fonts in the communities, so there is a way you can use that in the uh, communities. Uh, so let's say you have uh, you like this. Uh, uh, let's assume you have this. You like this Poppins regular. Uh, what you can do? I mean, like uh, I just took the example of Poppins. Uh, it can be anything uh, based on your requirement. So uh, I have uh, selected this uh, uh, font and I have downloaded it from Google, and uh, I have in I have uh, kept it in the uh, static resource as you can see here Poppins, and. Uh, uh, and uh, one more resource I have used as a pop uh, uh, as a static resource this is a zip file and it is a single file if you can see if, if I open this one and if I click the view file uh, it is just a single file uh, open with so let's take notepad uh, hopefully it will open So never mind. I mean, it is just a single uh, uh, TDF file, true type file, and uh, uh, the other one is a zip file which contains total fonts. Uh, if you take this uh, font family, uh, if you come here, if you click import, uh, if you see here, and uh, if you go here and download, it will download all the types of uh, fonts which are present in this font family uh, example like this poppins black poppins black italic bold bold italic extra bold extra bold all those things will come under this uh, downloadable uh, zip file so I have uh, put that in the static resource here uh, so how you use the single file and how you use the zip file uh, we'll see it now so go to the whole communities and uh, builder I have already opened that in builder so under the left side you can see it here theme right so just click on the theme and uh, you have to edit you have to click on uh, drop down down drop down and edit CSS so here you have to add the font face uh, so if if you are uh, giving only a single font you can use this uh, type uh, like uh, SF sites C resource and pop-ins as it contains only one file so it will take it will face the file and it will um, you know load it if you are using a zip file so you have to use the uh, name of that uh, zip file which you have given as a static resource and then you have to use the exact uh, font type what is a font type so here sf site c resources and pop is the name of the static resource which i have given and the poppins extra bold italic is the font name and the type is format is true type that is ttf and there can be woff and uh, otf also is there that is open type now uh, i'm not going into that so and uh, the other one is i took as uh, the same uh, as second one so my font uh, my new font too and uh, it, it will it is also same as sf site c resource pop and uh, the font name and then it's a true type so let's save it uh, so once you save it um, you can see it here right primary font once you come here and click it and uh, you can see a blue bar below so use custom font so once you click this custom font you have to enter you have to give a name any name of your choice so let's assume i am taking my new font 3 okay i'm taking it as a my new font 3 and uh, save it so now i have to define that my new font 3 in this css so let's take any one of this uh, so let's take this uh, poppins black ttf i took this poppins black ttf and um, edit css as i have already uh, added all those files in the um, uh, static resource so I'm just going to use this control X and my 
font name is my new font three. So whatever the name you are giving there, and you have to give it same the uh, the same name here, my new font three, and the uh, pointing URL will be the your uh, static resource URL, and the format will be the depends upon your TTF or WFF or OTF. So let's save it. My new font three, right? Yep. You can see uh, it has changed. So it has become bold agent offline ask a question welcome and everything so let's test it for the remaining uh, uh, fonts which i have already present here okay i am not sure what happened but uh, this is how you have to add a, a custom font maybe i haven't published it uh, so you have to uh, this is how you add a, a font custom font to the uh, communities so hope this helps and there is one um, uh, salesforce uh, uh, urls salesforce um, link is also there but i'm not sure why i'm not getting this if i use uh, my community name and slash with yes i'm not getting the proper results but when i use with sf sites i'm getting the proper results and uh, uh, let me know if you guys uh, have any requirement and if you have tried in a different way and you got succeeded with it and um, I will be happy to check uh, what your uh, requirements are. Thank you guys.